What's up, everybody? We are back in the garage uh, again, this time with the other car. This is the 2007 Forester. And I've had these Casey highlights laying around for a couple years now. They're already all wired up. Uh, they were mounted on a thing right here that was cheap and it bounced everywhere. So it wasn't very good. So after the WRX video, which is right here, uh, I have a bunch of leftover sheet metal. So I'm gonna try to make myself a little custom mount for these bad boys. Super simple, super fast. We're gonna see if it works. Uh, I got this nice core support here for the radiator and uh, this leftover 16 gauge mild steel. It is a uh, one foot by one foot. And I just measured two inches from the top here. And that's about a good little slab to put right there. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna weld it up and we're gonna drill some holes here for the back of the highlights. So I'm excited, let's uh, well, let's see what happens. A quick little video, but I mean, if this is all it takes for a custom mount behind the grill, then it's what I've been looking for, but I'm gonna try to make it myself. Just gonna cut this two inches off with my uh, not sketchy at all, 100% totally safe uh, cutting surface. Safety first. angle grinders. All right, so we took our two inch, uh, two by 12 uh, piece of steel and uh, measured. So this is the direct center. So there's six inches on that side, six inches on this side. Each hole is about an inch and a half in. I, I tried to center it as much as possible, uh, but I ended up just going kind of down there with the bottom and lining it up just about like that on a quarter inch drill bit and let's let's drill some holes Well, this genius um, is going to go to AutoZone and get another drill bit, but the quarter inch isn't even enough to fit it, so we got to big get a bigger size, anyways. All right, went to AutoZone, got this, and the M10 seems like it's going to fit perfectly fine, so let's try that. Okay. Let's go again, and uh, we won't break it this time, and I was missing my lucky hat, so this should work. Now it should work. I'm a professional, I promise. That could have been a Shen Splinter 5000, but it wasn't. And it fits. We're getting W's instead of L's. All right, we got our handy dandy uh, Harbor Freight welder that has been great to us. It's all ready to go. Don't mind the mess. Uh, we're gonna weld that sucker right there. You might be thinking to yourself, Grant, why don't you take out the front bumper? All right, so here it is. It's not, it's not the cleanest, but it is sturdy. Uh, I'm still not the best at welding, but I'm getting better. I mounted up one of the lights already. It looks, it's kind of a pain to screw it in behind there, but it's possible. And uh, let's get the other one mounted. I'm gonna try to blend it in a little bit more with uh, some Rust-Oleum paint real quick. All right, cool, I'm not gonna lie, that looks quite a bit better. All right, so this is getting real weird real quick. Um, we're, this is a journey together. So this one, nice and solid. This one, 
bounces like crazy. So I cut out two little triangles and uh, we're just gonna weld them in like that, the supports. Kinda just notch them in there. So let's do that. It's getting weird. Thought you might want a better look at what I'm actually doing. All right, well, here they are. I think they look pretty cool. They're a little tiny off center, but you really won't be able to tell, honestly, um, except for right there. A little bit, a little bit off kilter, but I can adjust them a little bit more. Some guy wanted to charge me like $200 for a custom mount uh, that would just bolt right up. And that's probably a better idea than this, but I saved $200, so that's all that matters. All right, so we are all done with it. I think the mounting looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. It's, I need to go in and adjust it a little bit because they're a little wonky, but for starters, not too bad. All right, so it is a couple days later and uh, your boy made a mistake. When you're going to adjust the driver's side, because you drilled it a little too low so you want to even it out as you can see in the previous clips make sure when you're using the drill bit to move that slot upwards you put a piece of wood behind your drill bit or else you might uh, pop a hole in your AC condenser and have to wait for a new one to, for um, from Rock Auto to show up so we're gonna fix that and everything's gonna be fine. Learn from my mistakes, you don't make your own. All right, couple days later and uh, we are all done. Uh, I would still probably suggest buying an aftermarket one that's already prefabbed so you don't have any sort of uh, angle issues. However, I'm pretty happy with it and it cost me basically zero dollars. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it and I think it looks really good too. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to uh, stick around for more stuff and uh, like, sub, peace, bye.